uh, of 2,200 units. The beginning inventory product B is 2,700 units. The desired in inventory is 3,200. Okay, so we're going to try to focus in on product A. So we need to figure out what we need to purchase. Now, when we think about what we need to purchase, we have to start off that, that conversation out with how much do we think we're going to sell? How much do we think we're going to sell of product A throughout the year? So projected sales of product A, because that's what we're focusing on here, is 20,200 units. 20,200. So that's how much we need. 20,200 units. Now, that if if that was it, if we were starting from nowhere, that's how much that's how much we would have to basically purchase or produce if we wanted to sell that much. But this is not our first year for one, which means that we have beginning inventory already. So we don't have to have the whole 20,200 because we already have some in beginning inventory. And it's also true that we want a, basically a cushion at the end. So we want a desired ending inventory. And so, so we want something at the end. And what will that desired ending inventory be? Now they're gonna, they're gonna give us the beginning number. We're, that's what we'll typically know. And then we're gonna basically calculate off that what the desired ending is. So they tell us that here. The desired ending inventory of product A is 30% higher than its beginning inventory. So I'm gonna do that in a separate calculation. We're gonna say the beginning inventory is uh, 2200, 2200. And we want it to be 30% higher because it's gonna be a 30% higher for the ending inventory. So that would be 0.3, 30%. Or if we go to the home tab, I'm gonna add some decimals, it's 0.3, that would be 30%. Or if we hit the percent sign, 30%, same thing. That means that we want an increase of 2,200 times 30%, and that will give us the increase of 660. That's the amount of the increase so how, what's the ending balance going to be then? We, we want it to be this 2,200 plus the increase, the 30% increase of 660. Now, once again, we could do that quicker. We could do that quicker. We could say, okay, the beginning inventory is 2,200 2200 times not 30%, but 100 plus 30%, 1.3, 1.3. And if we go to the home tab numbers and we add decimals, it's 1.30, 1.3 is the same as, if we make it a percent, the 130%. And we do that with one calculation. Then we're going to just say, okay, I want this 2,200 times the original 100 plus the 30, 130%. And that will bring us to the uh, 2,860. So if we were starting at a point of zero, we don't have any, inven we don't have any inventory, we would need to produce the projected sales in units, 20,200. And we would have to produce enough to have our desired ending inventory, which in this case happens to be the beginning inventory. I'm just going to recalculate it here. 2,200 uh, 2, times 1.3, 130%. Enter. So there's, there's that. Okay, and then that's what we would have if we didn't have something in there already. But we already have a beginning balance. We already have a beginning balance, and we're going to subtract that out. So if we didn't have any beginning balance, we would have to have the 20200 plus this much for a cushion at the end. But there's already something in there in the beginning, so we're going to say minus the 2200 that's in there at the beginning. So if we sum that up, then we're going to say what we need to produce then is going to be this 20002 plus the, what we want at the end minus what's already in there. And that will be the 20,860. If we did that in a calculator, all we're doing there would be, of course, taking the 20,200 plus the 2860 minus the 2200, giving us the 20,860.